Hi everyone. Someone recently commented on our DIY garden arch video to get more information on where to find gardening stuff on a budget. First of all, thank you very much to the commenter for asking the right question. We decided to expand on this topic and show how we saved more than $1800 by sourcing our gardening needs using these five options. Option 1. Lately, our favorite store to shop for our garden is ReStore. It is a thrift store, but for hardware, and has several outlets throughout USA. They always have so many options available to get material for a DIY project. For example, we made these garden arches for $15 each with most of the material from ReStore. If we add the cost of material for these trellises, if we bought them at full price, it will add up to $114.90 for one arch. This one does not include the taxes yet. Option 2. Another place to find gardening stuff is estate sales and garage sales. Estate sales are almost always going on. The best part with estate sales is you can check them online before heading out and if you see anything useful, only then you head for that sale. Here are a few examples of what we scored from these sales. We got this metallic arch for $30 from a garage sale. Similar metallic arches currently sells for $109.99 online. This garden fairy fountain was for $40 at an estate sale. Currently, the cheapest resin fairy fountain of the same size as ours is for $285.49 online. And this beautiful ceramic camel statue that we found at an estate sale, how much should I say its current cost is? On quick Google search, I found only this listing that matches with the camel we have says these are from 1960s era and it is listed for $960. Nope, not being that much over here. We paid only $30 for this beauty. And to be fair for price comparison, let's say if it was mass produced in today's world, it may go for $1.150ish. Let me know in the comment what you think its value would be in today's world. We paid $7 for this metallic trellis and $20 for this metallic bird bath. Moving on to next option. Option 3. Now if you have a knack for brand new things only, this tip is for you. August onwards, gardening stuff starts going on sale in big box stores. September is when we found huge discounts on gardening trellis. For example, we bought these cedar trellis for $1 for each. Their full price was $16 each. These blue tall containers costed us $9 each. Their full price was $36. These metallic trellis costed us $14 each. Their full price was around $39 if my memory serves me right. Option 4. This last option was something that takes some guts, especially if you're a shy person. I was nervous when I made the call, but here is what we did. We called a nearby nursery and asked if they give away their used containers. Lucky for us, they had a huge bin of used containers for take. We got a lot of large containers from there for zero dollar. We can't even put a price on that, but considering these are large containers made of durable plastic, if we put an average price of dollar ten on each one of these, we got a total of seven hundred dollars worth of pots for free. We also called the office of a nearby construction site and asked if we can pick some rocks they are digging out. They were more than happy to let us pick them. And we made this whole raised bed out of these rocks. Total cost was $0 for us. Usually a raised bed of this size would sell for $100 and above based on the material. Option 5. We have not tried this option personally. But one of our friends did. It is the famous Craigslist or the Face Marketplace where a lot of gardening stuff can be found for free or at a discounted price. We have not even listed all the items that we found this way, but just adding up the ones in our examples brings us to a total of $2,118.42 as the approximate full price of these items. This does not include tax. But what we paid for all of this, just $265. We saved about $1,853. One thing to keep in mind is that we gathered all of this over a period of three years. Rome was not built in one day, dear friend. 
We hope you found some good tips in this video to save some money while enjoying your gardening. Please leave us a comment if you have any money saving tip up your sleeve that everyone can benefit from. If you found value in this video, please support our channel by liking it and subscribing to our channel.